member at Bismarck Community Church, and I am here with a missions update. But first, Jim asked me to also do part of the children's moment, which makes me think that our church budget is worse than Tom said last week. So make sure you're up to date on your ties so Jim can get back to doing the children's moment. So before we do our missions uh, update, I am here having a special Halloween tea party with a tiger, a princess, and a ladybug. Hi, ladybug. Can you say hey to the kids at church? Princess, can you say hello to your friends at church? Hello. And Mr. Tiger, can you give a big roar? <laughs> Whoa! You see, the cool thing about God's kingdom is there'll be all sorts of people there who wouldn't normally be at the same table. There might be ladybugs and princesses. There might be Vikings fans and Packers fans. There might be Scots and English. There might be people, yeah, there might be people from a thousand years ago and people from a thousand years in the future, all together around the table that Jesus sets for us. Yeah. One of the cool things about God's kingdom is we can live that out now, boys and girls. We can have at our own table people who are very different from us, and we can welcome them and get to know them and their culture and their stories. Mr. Tiger, would you read our Bible verse out for us? It's Leviticus 19, verse 34. What does it say? When a foreigner, foreigner. foreigner lives in your land, don't take advantage of him. Treat the foreigner the same as a native. Love, Love him like one of your own um, remember that you were once f foreigners in Egypt I am God your God thank you so much Mr. Tiger yeah the Bible tells us Miss Princess that we have to love strangers just like anybody else that lives with us what's way we can would, what's one way that we can learn people who are new to our city Susanna? you can tell them about the Bible yeah and can we share our homes with them and our food Yep. And maybe we can play with them. All sorts of things. That's right. Miss Ladybug, do you want to say goodbye to our friends at church? Bye. Thank you. Thanks, kiddos. And now back to the grown-ups. I'll do our missions update real quick. Um, Global Neighbors has been having a really interesting season because with pandemic stuff going on, a lot of us are unable to meet face-to-face, -face, our volunteer mentors and mentees or have moved virtual. And of course, all our big gatherings that we look forward to are canceled. Um, World Refugee Day, international festivals, things like that. But uh, we're just about as busy as we've ever been and we're really grateful um, to you and other supporters and want to praise God that we're able to hire our first time ever part-time staff. Um, in addition to, to me, I'm gonna be able to hire a person to help me, which is amazing. Just this past week, um, I helped people who had low English apply for jobs, look for daycare, fill out rental applications. I helped a single mom understand her lease agreement. Uh, her landlord told her that she wasn't able to move even though she had given 30 days notice. Um, and we were able to navigate through that together because she had an advocate at Global Neighbors who could speak for her. Uh, le yesterday evening while I was hanging out here at the house with my kids, I got a text in Spanish just saying, please, I need some food. And so late last night, Ethan and I boxed up some staples and we took them over to a family that was in need. Um, and we'll continue to work with the family about what their long-term plan is to be able to define food and feed themselves during this difficult time, particularly for people who don't have citizenship status and so aren't eligible for a lot of the social safety net programs that you or I might be eligible for. Um, so we're really excited that we have so much good community support and our hearts are burdened for our neighbors that live here that don't have that kind of support. Um, and with God's grace, we'll bridge that gap to welcome the stranger and love the foreigner. So thank you, BCC, for your support and for your prayers. Thank you, all my current volunteers and past volunteers and board members. Um, can't wait to see you all back in church together again soon.